In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Shut Up by Simple Plan off of their album, Still Not Getting Any. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Simple Plan was your favorite pop punk band. And let's dive in. The song's gonna be in standard tuning and the intro riff will sound like this. So we have this intro lead part that's gonna be playing this, I'll play it slow. Okay, so what we're doing here we're using the second and third strings. I'm barring the sixth fret, second string, third string. So we're gonna play both of those strings, straight eighth notes. I use alternate picking. You can down pick everything if you want. So what we're gonna do is we'll strum that bar and then we'll immediately add second finger to the seventh fret of the second string. And we'll hit that twice. And so we'll keep alternating between this bar once and then adding the seventh fret twice. Okay, and then we do this run down the scale. So that's seventh fret, second string, sixth fret, second string, then ring finger comes over to eighth fret of the third string and then sixth fret, third string. So all together that's. And then just repeats. Now what we do here is we come down to this chord. So that's still sixth fret, third string, but now we're playing fourth fret, second string. Hit that twice, and then the whole pattern repeats again. And then we enter the first verse. There is a rhythm guitar part playing underneath that lead, and so the rhythm guitar will sound like this. Just all power chords, all eighth notes, starting fourth fret, fifth string power chord. And we hit fourth fret, sixth string power chord twice. And then down to second fret, sixth string power chord. Back up to fourth fret, sixth string, two staccato hits there, and then it repeats. first verse. The first verse is just palm muted eighth notes. So starting fourth fret, fifth string again, we're just gonna palm mute eighth notes. Okay, so that's the whole verse part there. 
Again, all power chords starting fourth fret, fifth string. One bar of eighth notes there, then down to second fret, sixth string. One bar there up to fourth fret, sixth string. Back to second fret. Then we do those accented hits again. Fourth fret, sixth string. Hit that twice and then repeat. Okay, so you notice that second time through the verse, we can add those little chicka parts. So chicka one, chicka one. So hopefully that makes sense, those chickas. Okay, and then we hit these accent notes again, fourth fret, sixth string. And then we enter the pre-chorus section. The pre-chorus section sounds like this. Okay, so again, all power chords. So we've hit these two accent notes coming out of the verse on the fourth fret, sixth string. And then the pre-chorus will start here, sixth fret, sixth string power chord. What we're gonna do is hit four eighth notes, so down, up, down, up, and then we're gonna swipe the strings four times, okay? So down, up, down, up, and then four little chickas there. And then we come down to fourth fret, sixth string, same pattern. Down to second fret, sixth string, same pattern. Back up to fourth fret. And then we hit that on the and, so that's fourth fret, fifth string. So all together so far we have this. And it repeats. Three hits here. Then we hit fourth fret, sixth string again. And then we do this slide up and slide down. And then we enter the chorus. The chorus part sounds like this. Okay, so again, all power chords, fourth fret, fifth string to start, straight eighth notes, up and down with the right hand. Two accented hits on the fourth fret of the sixth string. Then it comes up to sixth fret, sixth string, eighth notes again. Two accent hits again, this time it's second fret, sixth string, and then fourth fret, sixth string. So all together we have this. And then at this point, we enter back into the main riff. And then into the second verse. So the second verse is almost exactly the same as the first. There's just one added part. So we're still playing the same palm muted eighth notes as we were in the first verse. Halfway through this verse, you'll hear this extra guitar part come in. Okay, so all that is is just single note picking. It's just third fret, fourth string. 6th fret, 4th fret, back to 3rd fret. Okay, so you just play it three times. And then it joins up with that rhythm guitar to hit those two accent notes, 4th fret, 6th string. 
And from here, we'll play a second pre-chorus and a second chorus, the same as the first. So I'll play through those parts again. enter back into that main riff. So the lead guitar is just gonna play the exact same thing it's been playing. Okay, so it plays that same riff. The rhythm guitar is going to be playing the same chord structure underneath as it has been doing, but this time you're gonna hear this. You're gonna hear it make that run down the scale with the lead part. Okay, so to make that run down the scale with the lead, so we're here at the fourth fret's uh, fifth string power chord. Right here's where we'll make the run. It goes four, three on the fourth string, and then six, four on the fifth string. So all together. just picks up the next chord, which is second fret, six string power chord. Same accent notes, repeats. It's fourth fret, six string power chord on the upbeat here. And then we enter into the bridge. So in the bridge, we have three distinct guitar parts playing. Now, two of these guitars are gonna be clean sounding guitars. This is the primary one that you'll hear. It sounds like this. Okay, so all we're doing is just arpeggiating this power chord shape. So we have fourth fret, fifth string power chord. We're just going up and down, so fifth string, fourth string, third string, back to fourth string. Then we move our index finger, we move the root note to the fourth fret of the sixth string. We move the root note again down, this is a reach, you move it down to the second fret of the sixth string. Back up to the fourth fret repeat, okay? So the pinky and the ring finger never move here. The only thing that moves is the index finger. Okay, so that's one guitar part that's happening. That's a clean guitar. There's another clean guitar that's playing up here. It plays this. Just alternates between those two notes, okay? So that's 18th fret, fourth string, and third string. 18th fret. So that's playing while this is playing. So those are playing at the same time. The third guitar you'll hear come in plays this. This is a slightly distorted guitar, and all it does is it just slides from fourth fret, fifth string, up to sixth fret, back down to fourth fret. So you'll hear that clean guitar. That's when that guitar plays. So you'll hear those three guitar parts throughout the bridge, and then coming out of the bridge, you'll hear these chords.
Okay, and now in between those chords and after those chords, you'll hear a lot of sliding up and down the neck, a lot of pick slides. So it's all, all this kind of stuff. Okay, so it's just a whole bunch of noise and pick slides and that kind of stuff. Coming out of the bridge, there's a vocal only part for a few beats. So the vocal will come out of the bridge by itself, and then the guitar will pick up with the chorus riff after a few beats with this. And it'll keep playing that chorus riff, but it just picks up on these notes. It just continues with the chorus riff like we've been playing. So the guitar will play through that chorus section a couple of times, and then at the very end of the song, there's another little breakdown. So the drums go to a kind of a halftime rhythm, and you'll hear the guitar do this. So that's how that song will end. So, and that's the rhythm guitar part. Over top of that, the lead is still playing the exact same lead part it's been playing the whole song. Okay, so the lead is still playing the exact same thing. It's just the rhythm guitar and the drums have gone into kind of a halftime beat. So the rhythm guitar here is this. Starting fourth fret, fifth string power chord. Right hand rhythm, down, 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 up, up, down. Two accent notes on the fourth fret, sixth string, down to second fret, sixth string. Down, 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 up, up, down. Two accent notes and repeat. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, the last shut up is just vocal only, so we do down up, down up, on the fourth fret, fifth string power chord to end the song. Was shut up the best simple plan song? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me, and remember, hug the gingers in your life, because we do, in fact, have souls.